welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is coco and today i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be doing an unboxing of the camera that i got it's a very exciting video for me because i've been wanting a camera for so long like it doesn't make sense on how long i've been wanting a camera and i finally got one so yeah i'm gonna be doing an unboxing and showing you guys everything that i got all the accessories that i got and things like that so if you guys want to see what camera i got then keep on watching make sure you subscribe like comment share and subscribe and let's go ahead and get into this video y'all please don't mind my face i just got home from work so i look a little cray cray so don't don't do too much on me but the camera that i got is the sony it's the sony Sony ZV-1F. Now, I originally wanted to get the Canon G7X Mark II, but I was trying to see if they was gonna have it on sale for Black Friday and Christmas, but they didn't. I ended up getting this Sony camera because it was on sale for $398 on Amazon. I think the original price is like $500. Now, I did a whole bunch of research. I watched a lot of YouTube videos of people unboxing it and like, you know, using it. And I looked at the camera quality and I think this is a pretty good investment and a pretty good camera for my first camera like really like first you know camera so yeah i went ahead and got this sony so this is what it looks like this is the box i haven't opened it up at all like it literally just got delivered like a couple hours ago and i have not opened it so we're gonna open it together so this is what the box looks like says sony i know it's backwards because i'm using my front camera this is why i wanted to get a camera because it's easy filming on my phone but at the same time i've been having so many issues with like icloud and between my crazy macbook my macbook is so slow and i've been having so many problems with my macbook it doesn't like sync with the icloud so that's why i haven't been able to post consistently because i've just been having so many problems with filming on my phone and i also y'all why as soon as i'm talking about my storage my phone when I cut off and say that my iPhone storage is full like that's what I'm talking about yeah well, I definitely need to get a camera because this ain't gonna cut it with the storage on my phone okay boom so right on top you got like the instructions on how to use it and then i also got a protection plan and then the user manual so let's see what this is first we're gonna save the camera for last so it comes in a little envelope like this oh i think i know what this is i think it's like the little mic thingy yeah looks like this this is like i don't know the correct name for this i know what it's for if you're outside and it's like windy it helps block like the wind and unnecessary noises so that's what that is and then right in here we have the cable cord usb c it's on the side right here this is the battery boom just like that and then we have the camera itself i'm really scared to touch it Oh, I really don't want to touch it. I don't want to like get any marks on it, but let's just go ahead and take it out. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. So I like that it comes with a little cover like this. I'm just going to put that back on there. Y'all yeah, can see. This is really good quality. This is really good quality. I really don't know much about this camera, even though I did do a lot of research. I still don't know like all of the features and things that it do. So that's just something I'm gonna have to figure out as I like use it. Just by looking at it, it looks pretty simple. I mean, it should be simple to use. Like this is the record button this is how you turn it on this is how you select if you want video or pictures i'm gonna go ahead and pop the battery in and turn it on so to put the battery in you just slide this down and that pops out and then stick it in like that Boom, close it and you also put the SD card in here too. Close it. Oh, you have to close it and like slide it back. Okie dokie. 
Let's turn it on. Oh, let me take this off. Okay, so as soon as I turn it on, it's asking me to select English. Oh, and I also read that this is actually touch screen. But I wonder, can I use this? Oh, I can. Because I don't want to touch the screen. <laughs> I don't want to get any smears on it. Okay, I understand. Okay, so I have to download this app and stuff. I'm going to do that after this video. I'm going to pull this out. This is supposed to be able to come out like that. So I can look at myself like this. And then I think it can twist. So I can look at it like this. I don't know why I would want to look at it this way. But we're going to twist this back. That's the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Not me about to break the camera when I first got it. Let me set this down. And I'm going to show you guys the accessories that I got. So the first thing I do want to mention, but I didn't have to buy because I already had it, is you do need to buy SD cards. The camera does not come with an SD card, which I feel like that's kind of crazy because how are you going to record without an SD card? But anywho, yeah, I already have some SD cards from like previous cameras that I've had. So I have a 64 gigabyte one. And this, this brand is SanDisk. I think that's the best brand, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I have a 64 gigabyte one. And then I have another one that's like an eight gigabyte. So I'm pretty good on SD cards. I probably will like once I start like recording more and like probably like do like more vlogs, I probably will go ahead and buy another one like a 128 or a 256 just to make sure that I have enough storage when I'm recording. Make sure you guys get a memory card or a slash SD card because you will need it. You cannot record without it or you can't take pictures. That's how, that's how the camera stores the memory and that's how you transfer your photos and videos to another device, if that makes sense. Probably already know that, but for those who don't know that, you need an SD card to record, okay? Okay, so this is like the first thing that I bought for the camera and these are rechargeable batteries. Now, I did read the reviews and a lot of people were saying that the battery does die fast. It only lasts like an hour or so. I got some extra batteries and this is a pack of three. It comes with the, the battery pack, <laughs> like the charger and then three batteries. So it looks like this and then it comes with the cord the charging pack so i can charge three batteries at a time which that's awesome but yeah that's what i got and everything that i bought i will have it linked down in the description box so you don't have to worry about trying to search it up and look for it i got you make sure you look in my description box so the next thing that i got was i got another tripod i really don't need another tripod because i do have like three over here they're really big tripods and if i'm gonna be like vlogging and like especially like out in public I don't want to be carrying a big tripod around so I got a smaller one and this don't look that small it actually looks kind of big I'm gonna open it up for you guys this is what it looks like I don't know oh it's not that big Oof. it feels good I think this is gonna be really good I don't know, I still feel like this is kind of big. I, I feel like it should be like half of this. I need to get a smaller one. But this may do the job for right now. Last thing that I got was this silicone case because sometimes I can be a little clumsy. So in just case I drop this camera, hopefully this will protect it from like breaking. So this is what it looks like. I don't know why I got white um, because it's probably going to get dirty fast, but it's okay. It should fit my camera just nicely. I'm gonna put it on in just a minute. And then it came with this, which I was actually gonna order like some screen protectors, but it came with one, so I didn't need to do that. But it comes with a screen protector. I'm gonna put that on as well. I think that's all I got. I don't I didn't order that much. Yeah, that's all I got. Um, and I do wanna show you guys something. Um, I already have like a mic adapter that I'm gonna be using on this camera. I'm gonna unplug it because it's actually plugged up into my phone, but I'm gonna unplug it so I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The brand is called Movo. Movo? 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 I don't know. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. Hopefully, you can go on my camera. I think it can. It should. Uh, and I just have this adapter because this goes to my iPhone. But 
yeah this should be able to plug into the camera let me go ahead and put my case on her figures that was so easy to put on it slides on really good y'all can see it's really good hopefully all the buttons are responsive when i click them and then i'm gonna see if i can put my mic on here it should be able to slot in okay so i had to take my case off because it wouldn't slide on for the mic input you just open this up and then you stick it in there i'm not gonna stick it in there. well yeah let me see if it works oh okay yeah so it's like that okay y'all so i went ahead and put it on the tripod this is what it looks like <laughs> It's really cute so i'm gonna i'm gonna finish setting it up i gotta download this app and like sync it i guess and like set it up i am gonna insert some clips of like the video quality so yeah so this will be my last video on my phone sadly <laughs> but i'm excited because y'all this phone has been giving me so many problems like <laughs> i've been having to use this google pixel to record some of my YouTube videos and just not happy with the quality. So yeah, um, I'm gonna play around with it for a little bit and I'll come back and show you guys some clips that I took. Okay y'all, so I'm on the camera right now and the quality is so good. Like, y'all see this? I had just recorded a clip with the mic the mic adapter that I showed you guys and for some odd reason it does not work because my clips are silent so I think I have to go buy another mic that is compatible with the camera but other than that this camera is so good like look at the quality look at the quality y'all will never see me use this phone again okay yeah, but this quality is so nice. And I love how the lens is like wide. It's not like up too close to my face. Um, so when I was setting up the camera, it did tell me to download this app called Creators App. And this is what it looked like click on it agree and proceed so basically you can use this app to like change the settings on your camera which i thought that was pretty cool and you can also import images and upload to the cloud um i think i think you can see like what you record and the pictures you take on here as well because this is what it looks like y'all see okay we need to fix the settings and stuff like that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe comment down below any questions that you have and also comment down below some video ideas and i'll see you guys in my next video bye